Welcome back. It is quarter to seven now on Daybreak, and we are celebrating Western New York this morning and celebrating a group of students in the southern tier who are taking their science experiment to new heights. This is a great group of kids. They put in a lot of work. They won a competition, and now coming up next, their experiment launching to the International Space Station. So cool. Yeah, they hope that their project and their findings will someday help to protect astronauts and people on commercial space flights. Take a look. These Wellsville sophomores are working on something out of this world. The test you see us running there have to do with testing the dosage of the antibiotic to the bacteria before we send it into space. So we have something to compare our experiment to. They're studying microgravity's effect on the resistance of Staphylococcus epidermidis to amoxicillin. That may sound complicated, but it is essentially just us testing the relationship between bacteria and an antibiotic when the factor of microgravity is introduced. Which means their experiment will be launched into space. Well, the most rewarding part, I think, has been just working with my teammates. Just because we've all worked so hard and to see our hard work pull through has been really amazing. They were voted one of the top teams in the Student Space Flight Experiments Program, first in the region, then nationally and internationally. There is no grade attached to this. It is during study halls during the day, outside hours, weekends, and you just see the drive and determination of these four students to want to do this, to want to win this competition. It's, it's just incredible. The students came up with the topic on their own, did all of the research, met all of the deadlines, and learned a lot in the process. I think it's given me a taste of what working with a team is like because I know I was not really good with working with a team before, and I think, well, I hope I'm a little better now. Their experiment will be loaded up in this tube and sent to the International Space Station in June. They hope to be in Florida for the launch. Their project is one of just 25 chosen to take flight. It actually, it's been pretty eye-opening because it's helped me realize that I actually have a big interest in science too. The team will also head to Washington, D.C. later this summer to give a speech at the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum. Their project will be at the ISS for four to six weeks, then it's back to Earth and back to work for these students who will analyze the results over summer break.